Zarkizer. Hey guys, it's your boy Zarkizer, and today I'm gonna give a quick review on the new 2021 Suzuki GSX S750. The GSX S750 is a middleweight street bike that offers serious power and performance. This bike is a true apex predator. It was born on the racetrack but raised on the streets. The GSX S750 is perfect for cruising around town and has a top speed of 225 kilometers an hour. This bike is extremely versatile with a sporty upright riding position. It's comfortable nimble and very fun to ride for 2021 this naked street fighter comes with a price tag of eight thousand five hundred dollars and features a powerful engine premium technology aggressive styling as well as suzuki's legendary quality and reliability there's a lot to learn about this bike but before we get into that don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more daily motorcycle news and reviews you can also follow me on instagram where i post daily motorcycle content and definitely check out my my online store where you can buy some cool motorcycle accessories and apparel. So yeah, let's get right back into it. The new 2021 Suzuki GSX S750 comes available in four color options, which are metallic matte black, metallic triton blue, metallic orc gray, and champion yellow. This bike looks absolutely amazing. It's a naked street fighter with a sculpted bodywork that looks extremely aggressive. It comes with a halogen headlight and LED taillight, as well as an aggressively styled belly pan, a stainless steel exhaust, and also Suzuki's easy start system that lets you start the bike with a push of a button. The GSX S750 is all about performance. It's powered by a super sport engine that complies with Euro 4 emission standards, which means it's clean and also fuel efficient. The GSX S750 is powered by a 749cc liquid cooled four cylinder four stroke engine that puts out 113 horsepower and 81 newton meters of torque. It comes mated to a six speed transmission gearbox and also features Suzuki's dual throttle valve system that ensures smooth power delivery throughout the engine's broad power range. The GSX S750 weighs 469 pounds and has a compact wheelbase of 57.2 inches. It has a 32.2 inch seat height and a ground clearance of 5.3 inches that lets you flat foot your feet at all stops. This bike has a fuel tank capacity of 4.2 gallons and a fuel economy of 43 miles per gallon, providing an approximate riding range of 180 miles. The ergonomics on the GSX S750 are sporty and comfortable thanks to the ideal placement of the seat, handlebar, and foot pegs. This bike demands an assertive upright riding position and also features Suzuki's advanced traction control system that lets you dominate any riding condition. The GSX S750 is built on a strong and lightweight chassis with a cross-section double-sided swing arm. The suspension system on this bike is handled by 41mm inverted KYB fork up front that's adjustable for preload and provides 4.7 inches of front suspension travel. At the back is a KYB shock with adjustable spring preload and provides 5.4 inches of rear suspension travel. The GSX S750 sits on 17 inch 10 spoke aluminum cast wheels equipped with Bridgestone Battleaxe Hypersport S21 tubeless tires. The braking system on this bike includes powerful disc brakes and optional ABS. At the front are two 310mm discs gripped by radio mounted Nissan 4 piston calipers. At the back is a single 240mm disc brake with a single piston caliper. The GSX S750 comes equipped with an LCD instrument panel that shows all the information you need, such as a clock, speedometer, tachometer, odometer, dual trip meters, gear position indicator, coolant temperatures, driving range, fuel consumption, and traction control. So yeah, that's about it for the new 2021 Suzuki GSX S750. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the bike. Do you like the new style and design? Do you think the GSX S750 is the best middleweight street fighter? Let me know your thoughts down below. I respond to every comment, so definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more daily motorcycle news and reviews. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post daily motorcycle content. All right, that's it for now, guys. See you tomorrow. Peace. Zarkizer.